I recently completed the Lone Star Hiking Trail, which is Texas's only long distance hiking trail at 96 miles. My mom was with me. She would follow me along and meet me at the end of the day. We had a camper, so I didn't have to camp. At the trailhead, the very beginning of the excursion, we got out of the truck and immediately this beautiful friendly dog met us and so we petted her and loved on her and then I started hiking down the trail and she followed me down this trail and it looked like she had just had puppies because she was pretty thin and her nipples were hanging down and I thought for sure she would be missing her puppies and I kept trying to get her to go home, go home, go back Nope, she would not. <laughs> she was stuck close. So after six miles, I called my mom up and I said, Mom, this dog is still with me. I need you to check around there to see if anybody is missing their dog. So she did. She knocked on doors and nope, nobody was missing a dog. She stopped at one lady's place that 10 dogs came out the truck so mom didn't get out and sh the lady goes nope I don't need another dog as a matter of fact all of these dogs have been abandoned that I've rescued so come to find out that this area of Texas is notorious for dogs being dropped off so we kept her with us we took her to Walmart I, I we were not about to leave her out in the cold and abandoned so we took her to Walmart hoping we could find somebody there we asked a lot of people do you want a dog do you want this cute dog no there was no takers lots of people had their own dogs and they didn't want another one one nice guy bought dog food for her and some treats after hearing her story but he wouldn't take her he gave me the name of a lady who rescues dogs and I contacted her but no she was not interested in coming to get this dog so this dog stayed with us that night in the Walmart parking lot. <laughs> and because I didn't want to interrupt my trek, my journey, I continued on hiking the next day. And this dog faithfully followed behind me. Any hiker I saw, I said, do you want a dog? This dog is just following me and I don't know what to do with her. Nope, nobody wanted a dog. So we ended that day together and we took her with us. Again, <laughs> tying her to the camper and hoping that we could find somebody to take this dog. So she continued hiking with me day after day. It took me 10 days to finish the trail. And it would have taken less, but I didn't want to wear the dog out. So <laughs> we took her to the vet and we had her scanned to see if there was any chip in her, if somebody was missing her. Nope. We asked at the vet, do you guys want a dog? Nope. So we got shots for her and we're still trying to find this dog a home. Well, I'll let you, I'll tell you why I hiked this trail to begin with. I had just finished hiking the Florida Trail, which is 1,100 miles, and the plan was to immediately go on and hike the Arizona Trail, which is 800 miles. That would have been a lovely stretch for me. It, w it was the beginning of March, and so Arizona Trail would have been perfect. However, I realized that my funds were running low, and I would not be able to complete the trail. And I didn't want to start something and not be able to complete it because fuel prices were astronomical and yeah, I just ran out of money sadly sooner than I thought I would. So I looked around trying to see if there was a shorter trail that I could do because I did not want to go home yet. It would still be cold up at home. <laughs> so I came upon the Washita Trail, which is about a 200 mile trail. And I said, ooh, this sounds perfect. So I joined the Washita Facebook group and I asked them, I said, what do you love about your trail? Tell me about your trail and why I should hike this trail. And I got some lovely responses. People were really sweet and nice. But then I got some really snarky, horrible comments like, we don't want no foreigners coming to hike our trail. And oh, you'll find crazy people on this trail. You don't want to hike this trail. We don't want any more people coming to pollute our trail. What? This is a national scenic trail. Everybody is supposed to be able to come and hike this trail. So I said, oh, fooey on you guys. And I left the Facebook group. 
And so I discovered the Lone Star Hiking Trail, which is a little bit less than I wanted to do, but it was still a fun experience. So the takeaway from this is, sometimes when people treat you mean, you can ask God now, what, why is this happening to me? Maybe he has a bigger plan. Maybe he's diverting you from something that you shouldn't be doing. Anyway, it turned out that we met this dog because I did not hike the Washita Trail. Now I will tell you at the end what happened to this puppy, but it makes me wonder who throws away a dog, a beautiful dog, like who does that? What are these people thinking? My heart especially goes out to abandoned dogs because they are so helpless. They're so needy on humans. Other animals that are alone in the wild or whatever that get tossed out, they can at least forage for themselves and fend for themselves. But dogs are so vulnerable. They need humans to take care of them. So who abandons a dog? Like what? And you wonder what a dog thinks about like what where are the people that I love where are my family what am I doing here on this road like what do I do now what do dogs think about that are thrown and tossed out I stood one day at the fork in the road not knowing what to do I saw two very different roads stretching out before my view. The one on the left looked easy enough, while the one on the right looked steep. I decided to take the road on the left to see where we down the road on the left till there was nothing more to see fortune and fame and so many friends i didn't have a single need but there was pain in my soul i often felt all alone not knowing where the hurt came from i sat one day by the side of that road I stood once more at the fork in the road one choice left for me I had to take the road on the right To see where it would lead And there were times it seemed The road on the right was hard and just too rough And there were times I felt that whatever I gave Just wouldn't be so long for something to fill this burning void in me. And I remember the times I thought the road just wasn't wide enough. And I remember the times that the rocks in the road made the going way too tough. And I remember the first time a peace I never knew So I stayed on the road And it turned out to be The road that led to you And I remember the times I thought the road Just wasn't wide enough And I remember the times That the rocks in the road Made the golden way to time the first time that I felt a peace 
Yes, I never knew So I stayed on the road And it turned out to be The road that led to you So I'll stay on the road Now I know It's the road that will take me home. And now she's a Canadian dog. We named her Miss Texas Star because that's where I met her and she'll never forget her roots with the Texas. And Star because I met her on the Lone Star Trail and also she was once an outcast and now she's our star. <laughs> she's the most perfect dog we've ever had and the most perfect dog we've ever met. She does not bark. She doesn't could care less about the other dogs she sees. She is so loyal. She will not leave our side. And getting her into the camper at first was kind of difficult as you'll see in future videos, but she's good now and she just snuggles down on the camper floor all night long. Mom and I thought we were crowded in the camper, but God knew we needed a dog also. We didn't know we needed a dog, but that's the whole reason I did not hike the Arizona or the Washita Trail was specifically for this girl. We we're so blessed. <laughs> Can't ask for a more perfect dog. And she's a good hiking companion. She loves to hike. Right? Oh yes. Yes you do. So all you dog lovers out there, go to Texas and you'll find yourself a beautiful dog, I'm sure. We actually met more strays while we were there, but they were quite skittish. We put some dog food on the road and they gobbled it up. So sad. The shelters are overrun. You'll find them in the woods, especially the Sam Houston National Forest area. You'll find them on the roads. All oh, these poor pups. Please go to Texas and get yourself a dog.